Bang, Neves and Ives. I'm Jared, my lovely wife Kara's at work, and in this video we are talking about the best flippers, but smaller knives. Now, let me just be clear, we are specifically talking about affordable flippers. None of these flippers in this list will be over $100. Some of them are over $50. That's why, you know, I couldn't really say budget or anything like that, but none of them are over $100. Otherwise, this might be a completely different list, but they are all amazing, amazing flippers. Now, this is the QSP Hawk. Did not make the list, but it is an amazing flipper, but it's just a little too large to call it a small flipper. Um, but it does have really good flipping action and the thumb studs are also great. Now, the per the owner of this knife, um, I've been having trouble contacting through email. So if um, you do see this, please contact me. Um, I'm having trouble getting a hold of you. Um, it's never happened before, but you know, things do happen. So anyways, the QSP flipper or the QSP Hawk, this is a flipper and thumb stud action that both work amazingly well. Watch the review on this if you're definitely interested in the QSP Hawk. I do have a full review up on it. So first one is the Honey Badger. This is the small one. They come small, medium, and large. This is the drop point version. And this, the action on these are so good. Not, you know, not even, you know, including the reverse flick and thumb flick, which is also really good. But all these knives are specifically the flipper tab. And the flipper tab on these and the detent are just so good. They lock up really good. It is a liner lock, FRN. And the drop point blade offers you a um, a good finger choil. The blade steel on this one's HCR 13 MOV, but they do have D2 versions. And like I said, you can reverse flick it, but this video is specifically about the flipping action. The detent is so well tuned. It's almost hard to fail. I mean, I can fail it but I have to really try as it really rockets out when you go to flip it. The honey badger, the small honey badger. And you can see the little honey badger there. I wish that was in G10. Next, the Kaiser Swayback. Now, what makes this one incredible is the flipping action and it's a button lock. This thing has a very strong detent for a button lock. So when you put pressure on the flipper tab, once it breaks, this thing just flies. It really flies out. Once you push the button, it is on bearings and it's very, very smooth. But you can hear, even the even thumb studs are really good, but you can hear the detent. It really clicks in place. So when it breaks, I mean, it's a pretty strong detent for a little button lock. The Kaiser Swags Swayback. Love this Warncliffe blade shape. It is an N690. Great steel. And then the detent is just so well tuned on these. Great little knife. Next. Now, I could pull out the Civivi Odium, which is a Ferrum Forge design. Great flipper knife. You can also reverse flick it, and I would definitely call this a small knife. And it does have great flipping action. And I would also maybe pull out the, the Ferrum Forge Mini Archbishop. Because they're both really, really good knives. Um, this is a very similar to the Mini Archbishop. And I have a review of this coming very soon. I, um, I'm i waiting for my Mini Archbishop to get back. And then so I have something to compare it to. Because they're very comparable. But yeah. I could put this on the list. But instead. The Prolic. The, the flipper tab is really nice on this. The detent is very, very well tuned. You can reverse flick it, but man, that detent is so well tuned. It is on bearings. It does feel like um, 
a good quality. It is a good quality knife, but I mean, it feels like a great quality knife. Liner lock, G10, deep carry inset clip. It carries very, very well. The reverse flicking action is also well-tuned. But man, that flipper tab. You can light switch it or push button it. And they both work very well. You do have a nice finger choil. You can get a full grip even though it is a smaller knife, which is really cool. Nice uh, sheep's foot blade. Um, I don't call it a Warncliffe because it does have a slight bit of belly on it that's very, very useful. The jimping is some of the best jimping you've ever felt on a, a knife at this price range. It's a really, really good jimping. And yeah, great, great knife. Next. This almost got number one. This is the Civivi Pintail, and the flipping action is so, so amazing. This is one of the best f action period on a Civivi I've personally felt, um, especially with the thumb studs. You can reverse flick it very easy, but this flipper tab is so well-tuned with the detent, you can lightly push it, and it breaks so clean. It, man, it's so easy to flip this. And that's with me, like, not even hardly attempting. Now, once I attempt it, I mean, it's, it rockets out. No matter if you push button it or light switch it, it really doesn't matter. Super, super thin hollow grind. I mean, this is a very, very well done hollow ground, ground blade. Now these do come in different versions. They do come in S35 VN or this Damascus, but the grind and the blade on this thing, it is crazy, crazy slicey. Um, the Ergos are really good too, but it is a smaller knife. So it's more of a three and a half finger grip, but you can take advantage of this little spot right there but you are really close to that thin edge. Deep carry clip, this one is in the fake carbon fiber, but they also come in other versions. So internal stop pins, very, very smooth on the drop. And if you really like uh, thumb stud action, oh, killer thumb stud action on this thing. But man, yeah, that flipper tab, bink, and it's got such nice acoustics to it. It's really, really nice it's got a real um not I'm, i want to say mechanical but it's got a real loud uh ting to it um i don't know how much the microphone's picking up but i love it now number one on this list which has to be the best flipping knife i don't know maybe best flipping knife period but especially for this small of a knife the Kaiser Lieb. This thing is insane how good it flips. You would be so surprised. Now, listen to this detent. First of all, I'm just going to two-finger it, break the detent. Do you see how fast that goes up? You would think this thing was assisted, but listen to this detent. It's so well-tuned, and then the flipper tab is chamfered in all the right ways. There's no jimping on it, but it is not necessary whatsoever. You can come from back here and push button it, or you can just go from right up top. Once you break the detent, it's flying. Now, I do wish I would've got the other version with the other micarta. I'm not a big fan of this micarta, but man, this detent is so well-tuned. You almost feel, this is the thing. This is what's so cool about it. You almost feel like it failed. Like when you break the detent, it almost feels like you broke the detent and it's not going to work. But no matter what, every time it springs out, I mean, I, I'm lightly doing it. I mean, I'm sure I can fail it if I, yeah, if I really, really try, but man, you have to really try because breaking that detent, it's not a strong detent. That's the thing. It's not strong. 
It's just so well tuned. It, it has to be one of the most well tuned detents I have felt. Um, period. I'm saying period. Like, I'm sure there are some custom knives and some other detents. You know, there's Shiro Goroffs. There's lots of detents out there. But this is a Kaiser around like 60 bucks or something. And <laughs> it's crazy how good this is. Now, it's not the most drop shutting knife, but it's still pretty smooth. And you can hear it click in i really would i really wish kaiser would make a large version of this um you know just a large lieb or whatever it is an n690 steel great steel um very nice and thin behind the edge good geometry great blade shape great utility cuts even though it is only a three finger knife you can get a lot of work done with this little knife because it is pretty slicey nice access to the lock bar beautiful blue uh, o-ring that's not reversible you know obviously it's just on the show side um the scales are micarta but like i said they do come in other colors the clip is not a deep carry clip it's very similar to the um it's not the same but it's similar kind of to the sheepdog clip and it works very very well but man what a comfortable flipper tab and comfortable flip and man this thing is amazing so there you guys go five grip five of the one of the some of the best flipper knives period but for small knives that are under a hundred dollars and yeah i love you guys thanks for watching peace